What's happening everyone? Ken here and today we are going to look at Dinosaurs by the Smithsonian and DK. It says here revised new edition and updated. Dinosaurs and other amazing prehistoric creatures as you've never seen them before. You see right there. It's a nice hardbound book. And DK is known for making these types of books that focus on a specific topic. Has a lot of colorful uh, photos and illustrations. So this one is priced at $24.99. And it's, I purchased this because it's part of uh, research that I was doing for my graphic novels on pirate raccoons. And these guys end up going to a dinosaur island. So... It's kind of like Lost Island, I guess, or is it? Yeah, I think that's what the name of this story, Lost Island, right? Where they go into uh, an island with creatures and things like that. And part of the research was trying to just study what, you know, dinosaurs look like, get a refresher. I know there's illustrations and photos online, but I always end up getting books about particular topics that really are interesting to me. Um, I should have saved the dinosaur books that I got my kids from a long, long time ago, but I did, didn't. I donated it. Now I ended up buying a new one again. So one of the things that I've read about this book is that it says new edition, but I know some people commented in the reviews that it looks very similar to the previous edition. So if that's cheaper and you want to you know, save some money, maybe just get that previous one. But I personally cannot compare both. So, so let's go through this. Looks like, let's look at how many pages this thing is. Uh, there's is there a page number. Okay, page number is up here at the top. This one says 208 pages at the last page. So again, part of my research is trying to figure out how dinosaurs are portrayed, what we know about dinosaurs as far as how they look, what they eat, how big they are, and how to draw them. How I can, because I'm creating a graphic novel, like I said earlier. And so I'm trying to figure out how to draw these characters in a very, you know, like an efficient way where I'm going to be drawing them for uh, a lot of time. So I want to be able to draw them correctly, but also efficiently. So like, for example, the T-Rex, right? We always see the T-Rex usually from a side view, side angle. And it's easy to draw it from a side angle. But when you're drawing it from this point of view facing you, it's a little bit trickier. Right, because it's the T Rex has like a thinner uh, fascia, so how do I draw that and still make it look realistic, but also simplify it? So here, table of contents: dinosaurs, Jurassic life, Triassic life, Cretaceous life, the new a new era. He has a cool timeline here of um, of the evolution of dinosaurs, what era they lived in, and typically has a description of what's happening around that era or about that creature. See the Homo Neanderthals are the most latest one, I guess you could say. Has all the different kinds and classifications. What's what differentiates them, things like that. This is cool where you can see the different sizing of the creatures. Mm, that's interesting. You can see the actual <laughs> the cross section, the inside of the T-Rex. That is funny and gruesome too, but that's really fascinating. What is a dinosaur? Inside a dinosaur. What is not a dinosaur? So dinosaur diversity. I can't even say some of these words. I don't want to butcher it. So it talks about life in the Mesozoic, shifting continents, changing climate, living with dinosaurs, the green planet, and the catastrophe. So it's not very detailed to satisfy some 
dinosaur fans. But if you're just kind of like me, casually looking through um, pictures and getting brief tidbits about what's happening, uh, it's enough information. And this is probably geared towards a younger audience as well. So they just make things a little bit easier to digest and process. It's not going to give you a text-heavy um, type of description. So it has a lot of really cool photos. And you can always, like I said, if there's a, a creature that, that fascinates you, you could probably just do more research online and look at more photos. But this is a good start. See the plant slicer. That's an interesting uh, shape of the, the head. The Eoraptor. Really cool, huh? And again, guys, I apologize because of the lighting. I try to light these uh, setups as best I can, but the pages are always printed uh, with this glossy type paper, so there's always reflections. And the only way to kind of hide the reflections is by shifting the angle. So it gets tricky. I like that it shows you all the, the fossils and things like that as well. The Jurassic Life. How big is this guy? Four inches. Diet, small animals. <laughs> but it like takes up two pages. Makes it look like it's immense. Mm, that's cool. It's pretty top there. Monolophosaurus. That one I can kind of say. See, that's cool. It shows you the scale compared to a person. It's kind of the size of a big truck. That's cool. Kentrosaurus. The classic Stegosaurus. Giraffe a Titan. Huge neck. Cretaceous life. What's this guy? A 
Oh, this one's about the size of a dog. Wow. Kind of has like a turtle face. Velociraptor. Looks like a bird, huh? It's eating a squid. Squid for dinner. This guy looks familiar, doesn't he? The one that has not evolved. Salthosaurus. Kind of interesting how it has hair now. They never used to show hair, right? A new era. The Titan, Titanoboa. And if that was like a crocodile creature how big is this thing it's pretty big darwinius Why would you eat the turtle? Dinosaur science. At least 80% of all known Mesozoic dinosaurs have been discovered since 1980. Amazing fossils have been found and have been analyzed in more detail than ever, ever before, giving us new insights into these incredible creatures and how they lived.
Bone Wars. Ooh. Interesting. Fossil sites, dinosaur fossils. That's interesting how they re they cut it and then they reassemble it. Building skeletons. Computer modeling. Teeth and beaks. Intelligence and census. Hmm. Got the glossary. And the index. There you go. 208 pages of dinosaur from DK and the Smithsonian. And actually, a few weeks ago, we went to this uh, crystal and rock store. And I got this, which is, uh, they call it, the, I believe, Dinosaur gem bone. Uh, pardon me if I'm not using the terminology correctly, but it's supposed to be dinosaur bone that has kind of fossilized and transformed. And then so they dig it up and they polish it and uh, they sell it for display purposes. And people apparently used to go to, uh, I live in Nevada, people apparently would go to Utah. There are some dinosaur sites there, and they would find these, and they would just just take them, take them with them, and and this was uh, made illegal a few years ago. So now you can only get it through um, approved dealers, I believe. And so this crystal rock store that um, we found went to had a few of these, and they also had pieces of uh, dinosaur spines and things like that. It was really fascinating. But this is <laughs> this is the only thing that I could really afford that had anything to do with dinosaurs. So I got two of them. I got this white one and you can kind of see it has some really cool colors and patterns. This one also has a cool pattern, but you can see it feels like a rock, but apparently it's somehow infused with uh, dinosaur bone. So you can look it up. I believe it's called a dinosaur gem bone. And um, if you most likely go to any kind of rock or crystal or, you know, place and um, you'll probably find some of these. So really, really cool stuff. Just a little piece to have on my table. And so there you go, Dinosaur Book by DK and Smithsonian. Hope you like that one, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.